so much for the introduction. I'm truly honored to serve as a commencement speaker today. And if I may, I'd like to begin by explaining a little bit about how I got to be up here in the first place and why I was declined to give this speech at all. I want to take you back to October of 2021 when senior class board members knocked on my classroom door and they asked me to be a speaker. And my initial reaction was that of confusion. I think the first words that came out of my mouth were, Do you, are you sure you have the right classroom? And isn't there someone more qualified to do this? Because I've been to several of these graduation ceremonies before, and the speakers are always these tremendously impressive people with decades of wisdom and experience bursting into scenes with life lessons to pass on to the next generation. And there's me. I'm 25, three years removed from college. I still don't understand how health insurance works. <laughs> and I still consider a stale granola bar that's even hunched over the kitchen sink as an acceptable breakfast. <laughs> Who am I to speak at this momentous ceremony? So, rather than enthusiastically saying yes, my response to the board members was, let me think about it. Simply put, I didn't think I was qualified, I didn't think I belonged, I did not think I was enough. And all of you graduates here today have felt the same feeling before. Some of you might call it imposter syndrome, insecurity, or lack of self-confidence. Whatever you want to call it, it's an incredibly debilitating feeling it stops you from exploring new experiences and taking new risks. That takes me to the crux of what I want to share with you today, because one of the first lessons I learned in my brief years as a real adult is that this feeling doesn't go away. Maybe it'll be uh, your first day of work, your first college class, maybe it's your first day of basic training, your first practice with your college sports team. You'll look around at your surroundings and you'll think to yourself that you aren't smart or good looking or brave or experienced. You'll feel inadequate, just like I felt when I was asked to give this speech. When those moments happen, you start to question whether you are enough. I want you to think back to this moment on June 1st, 2022. Because if you're sitting in front of me here today wearing a cap and gown, that means, believe it or not, that you actually are enough. I think a lot of people think of education as a place where you learn information and get rated under understanding of that information. I want you to think of your education instead as one massive lap around the track. You start to lap on the first day of school and immediately Dozens of hurdles were placed in front of me. Every day, for many years, hundreds of more hurdles were placed in front of me. If you're sitting here today, that means that you've left over enough of these hurdles to prove that you are ready to become a functional member of society. These hurdles came in the form of Tests, quizzes, and assignments that came in the form of rehearsals, and games, and club meetings that last until the parking lot was empty. Don't let anyone ever tell you that high school was easy. It's not. Although the adult world presents new challenges, high school is not inherently easy. Because over the course of your educational career, you've encountered thousands of these hurdles. And like I said, the staff at Shakespeare High School has decided, and my proxy to of Virginia has decided, that you've left with enough of these hurdles to prove that you're ready to become a functional member of society. Did you trip over some of these hurdles? Of course. Did you need help jumping over some of these hurdles? Definitely. Did you make some business decisions and decide to walk around some of these hurdles entirely? Absolutely. But, if you received a diploma today, it doesn't matter. You graduate, you finish, and that's enough. So don't worry if you don't know how to pay your taxes or how to 
same to time. When the time comes, you will figure it out, just like you did when your Spanish teacher first asked you to conjure a bird, or when your math teacher first asked you to solve a prize. This all brings me back to the beginning when I was deciding whether or not to make this speech. Obviously, I ended up accepting, but why? I did because I came to the realization that the senior class believed in me. They believed that I could get up in front of this massive crowd here today and say something wise or inspiring despite my fancy lack of life experience. And just like the senior class believed in me, there is someone sitting in this stadium here today who wholeheartedly believes that you are enough. Maybe that person is the teacher who stayed after school with you to work on that missing assignment. Maybe that person is a parent who cut fresh fruit for you while you were cramming for that test at midnight. Maybe it's the friend you did lunch with every single day who shared their food with you and you forgot yours. That person loves you with every fiber of their being and believes that you're capable of facing that next set of hurdles and figuring out a way to leap over them. And if that person believes in you, the least you can do is believe in yourself. Congratulations and thank you.